In this short video, we're going to look at enabling your Power Apps Canvas applications to have Azure App Insights telemetry. Now, if you're not familiar with Azure App Insights, it's the Azure service that allows capturing data from applications as they run. It gives you detailed telemetry and it allows you to analyze that telemetry using time series. So I can look at the last hour, last 12 hours, last seven days. I can query the detailed data. You can even see detailed information like what path users took through your application. Now, Power Apps has enabled that for Canvas applications, allowing us to use that to understand user usage, to monitor errors, and we can even log custom information. And we'll look at how to get that all set up for your application. Let's dive in. Now, you do need to have an Azure subscription, but you get some free allocations for Azure App Insights when you're creating your applications. It's really based on how much data you log to Azure App Insights, and you pay a reasonable amount for the usage of it, especially considering the amount of details that you get. So once you have a subscription, you can create a trial one if you just want to kick the tires and see how this works. You need to go in and create a resource. You'll then search on Application Insights, and this will prompt you to create an Azure App Insights for each application that you want to track. Now, you want to be able to collect your data and be able to see it. So it's good to have a unique idea. If you put two applications in one Azure App Insights, you might not like having the commingled data because it would be confusing. So I'm going to go ahead and create this. You can choose which resource group to put in. I'm going to go ahead and put it in a new one. Resource groups, are, if you're not familiar with them, are just kind of collections that allow you to keep track of the items that you create in your Azure subscription. I'll just call this App Insights Demo. And then I'm going to call this My Photo App. Now you'll notice that I do actually have to keep these not having spaces in there and there it likes my name. So you want to make sure to pick a name that's meaningful, but also complies with the requirements uh, or characters that can be included. You can include underscores. So if you don't like bunching it all together like I did here, you could do, you know, my photo app, for example, and, and that would still be acceptable to do on there. And we'll go ahead and create this. And it takes a few seconds to be created. You'll notice that it says deployment in progress. We're going to wait for this to finish. All right, looks like it's been finished. Let's go to the resource. Now, the key thing that you need here is this instrumentation key. So what you want to do is go ahead and copy that. And then we're going to go back into our Canvas app. And this is where we enable it in the Canvas app. So let's switch over. So I'm back in the Maker Portal and I have a photo app that I want to enable for App Insights. And what I want to do is go ahead and open this up for edit. And we'll show you where to find that key. All right, now we're in our application where you need to look to put the instrumentation key is if you click on the application object and come over to properties over here, you'll notice there's an instrumentation key item that you can paste that in. So we're gonna paste in the value that we got from the Azure portal, make sure it doesn't have any extra spaces in, and that enables us to be able to do that. So now when we run our application and we do things, we're creating traffic in that App Insights application log for us. You can also log custom data. So for example, if every time I selected an item, I wanted to log the information about what title the image was that was selected, what I could do is, just like I would normally edit the formulas, I can come up here after the navigate, and I can add on a trace statement using the trace function. And what this is doing is it's tracing the title image selected, you can provide a severity. So this is how you can kind of make it easier to find the data. You might want to separate information from warnings, from errors, and you can also provide data. So you can see here what I'm logging is the title of the item, and you could add other properties on there. So it's completely flexible to allow you to log custom data. And this is particularly useful if you have a tough application in production that users are reporting problems, but you're having trouble recreating it. You could put in some instrumentation, some trace statements to be able to log information at various points in your application. And when that user has the error, you could gather that information without having to try to debug it in production. And this gets you to where you can capture those messages and analyze them later. 
Okay, I'm back over in the Azure portal on the application insights for my application. Now, this isn't really exciting because we haven't run the application a lot. You'll have to generate some usage, get it deployed out to the users. But what you'll see is if you go to users, you'll see that my one user that has launched this has logged some data and you'll be able to drill down. And the other thing that I'll highlight for now, and maybe we'll do another video later on how to use some of the data from Azure App Insights, but I wanted to really show you how to get that enabled. I also wanted to show you how to look at the traces that we logged. If you go over to logs, and then if you click on traces, click on the little show the sample of the records from this table, we're gonna limit this to 50. You can re build really advanced queries from this. So you have a lot of flexibility to kind of slice and dice the data that you collect. And we're gonna go ahead and run this. And just uh, as you can see that we got the app started, that ha happens automatically, but here's our image selected and we can drill into that and we can see our data that we logged. So remember we logged what image was selected. So we can see that the title of this one that was selected was elephant. The other thing I wanted to highlight, because I know sometimes with paid services, you kind of wonder what it's going to cost you to run this. And what I'd recommend doing is coming into the usage and estimated costs. And this is where it kind of gives you some insights into how it charges. Now, obviously, your subscription in different regions may have different pricing adjusted for the local currency. But as you can see, my current estimated total monthly is estimated to be zero because you get an allocation of data that you can send to Azure App Insights with every Azure subscription. So that's our quick look at Azure App Insights. Thanks for joining us for this week's video. And click like and subscribe if you want to keep updated when we post new ones. Thanks.